So I wanted to show off uh, a piece of tech that I've been using for a bit now, uh, and that is hiding the animation for down back three inside of a sidestep. Uh, so down back three, of course, is the big slow uh, launch punishable low uh, that she gets a knockdown. You get a, a free up back four at the wall. Um, a lot of people can block this on reaction, uh, even more so offline. Uh, but one thing that I've noticed is that when you do it out of a sidestep like uh, like this, uh, it has a much higher success rate. Uh, and the reason for that, I, uh, I slowed down the animations and compared it to just not sidestepping uh, and just doing down back three. Uh, and what I've discovered is that the animation itself is actually a little bit different. Uh, and that can help you land this move uh, against somebody who's watching for the regular down back three. Okay, so here I've got this video broken down frame by frame. Uh, and you can see the, the different animations as uh, as she goes through that. Uh, what I really want to focus on here is back on this frame, which I've marked I0, which is the first frame where I input down back three on all three uh, recordings. If I go back one frame, you can see there's no down back three on any of them. And if you actually look at Kat's head, when you go to this frame, she changes where she's looking on all three animations. Uh, now, what's interesting is on the side steps, she goes from looking at their face to looking at their feet. But on the normal one, she just kind of goes from looking at their looking at them straight on to kind of giving them the side eye. Uh, but then, as you can see, because she's already bent down, knees bent, uh, you know, arms out a little bit in the side step animations where she's just kind of in her default pose here. The first couple of frames look absolutely different. Like you can see here, even just by frame two, she's going into the classic down back three um, animation. Uh, but over here, this just looks like a regular part of the sidestep almost. Uh, as you move it forward here, the animations are completely different. So you can see like the default one, she's got kind of a right arm forward at head height, uh, her back arm kind of pointing straight at the ground. But when she's in sidestep, her arms are in different positions. Her legs are in different positions. Everything that she's doing is just a little bit different. Uh, so that can help throw your opponents off from recognizing that you are going for the down back three here. Um, you can see even here, you know, eight frames into the animation where she's had her knee on the ground for most of it on these, her knee still hasn't touched the ground on the sidestep. Now, here's where I think they kind of sync up and, and where it stops uh, mattering that you've done the sidestep is on, on frame 12 of the animation. But that's a huge amount of the animation. It's a 23 frame animation. Uh, if you can disguise the down back three long enough to get to frame 12 without them noticing it, they have such a tiny window to react. Uh, not that they're not going to know you're doing a move, just that they're not going to know you're doing this move because it looks so very different here. 